I am honored to be sitting next to Jim Beattie. Jim, you surprised us by coming today. You have designed many, many airplanes and these Pulse, Lightstar Pulse motorcycles behind us. Jim, uh, we're honored to have you here in Marion and, and what do you think of what you've seen of the flying cruise in today? Well, you people really have beautiful weather here. I'll tell you that right now for sure, but it's a very beautiful gathering here. I was quite surprised. Uh, a lot of beautiful cars, a lot of beautiful airplanes, and of course these little vehicles behind us. How many years have you been designing airplanes? Oh, about 60, 65 years now. What got you interested in aviation? What, what got you thinking about building an airplane? You know, I really don't know. As far back as I can remember, I, somehow I liked airplanes. They claim the uh, first three words I ever said, one of them was airplane. Uh, but from a childhood on, and I, I enjoyed designing, I enjoyed math, uh, liked engineering, and it just that's all I knew how to do and wanted to do. You're well known, though, for the airplanes that you designed are, are really many times ahead of their time. What gives you those ideas? Well, um, I, I like to build things, I like to fly things, and therefore I know what I'd like to have better as a pilot. And then when you know the engineering aspect, you know where some things are absolutely as best it can be, but the other thing can be improved. Uh, I can't complain, see, gee, I wish this airplane went faster. If I want to go faster, design it yourself, then go out and make it go faster. And uh, it, it's, it's funny because whenever you design something, you start off complicated. And if you keep working on it, trying to simplify it and make it, all of a sudden it dawns in, this is the final answer, this is the way it should be. What came first, the airplane or the auto cycle? Oh, actually the airplane, uh, without doubt. It was back in the uh, uh, 80s so when gasoline prices went up. We thought they were very high then compared to now. And uh, I knew what it took to make an airplane be more efficient and get better miles per gallon and longer range and so on. And I started thinking, gee, what does it take for a car to get better? And I found out that it was making it lightweight but making it very aerodynamically clean was a key thing. And I said, well, gee, that I know how to do. And so I came up with different shapes and things. And I also knew I had to have a lightweight, efficient type engine. And I realized the motorcycles are that way. They're, they're very modern engine. They're very efficient. Um, and decided to take a motorcycle and modify it and make this out of it. Of the many different airplanes you've designed, do you have a favorite? No, not really. Everyone has this advantage. The little BD-5 jet is the, still the world's smallest jet, and that was the, in the James Bond movie, Octopussy. Uh, but I made a later one called the BD-10, which is a two-place airplane that would just about go supersonic speeds. That was the hardest one to do from an engineering standpoint, and, and greatest one to fly, but very, very expensive. I remember the Bud Light uh, airplane. Uh, is this still flying today? Yeah, there are there several of those out there. That was a little BD-5 jet, and we only made 18 of those. Uh, the engine was very small, uh, not real efficient, but but a lot of power for its size. And uh, the airplane was so small that when it would fly by, it would only go on 350 miles an hour, but it looked like it was doing 900 miles an hour. The auto cycles, we've got quite a gathering here today. Yes. You, There's not any one of them exactly alike. What do you think about what you're looking at today? Well, the quality of uh, maintenance and upkeep on all of them here are just spectacular. And the several of them have some little features that are really neat. I'd like to seal it later on myself. Uh, at the same time, uh, I, I know what their limitations are, and uh, I'll be honest with you, it's turned me on a little bit to get back into that project. So I, I, I don't know, maybe next year I'll come here with another unusual vehicle. So you're announcing to all of us who are watching that maybe we're going to see another auto cycle out of Jim BD? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I still go to that bar that has that very inexpensive wine. <laughs> well, Jim, what an honor to have you here at the Flying Cruise Inn. Uh, you surprised us with a visit today, and uh, we hope you'll come back and visit us again here in Marion, Indiana. Well, good. Thank you for inviting me to begin with. And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be nice, but actually it's twice as beautiful as I thought it would be. It's fantastic. Wonderful people. Thank you, Jim. All right.